But that was a specific game in the playoffs, and I want to say it was against the Celtics. So it was either 08 or 2010. He loses yeah. to the Celtics. In that game, LeBron James, hands down, scores half of the Cavaliers' points in a oh, playoff yeah. game. Oh, yeah. That was 08. That's yeah. when he should have left. Dom, I remember Dom, Dom, the game, what? Dom, 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 Damo, if I'm LeBron, once I, well get, well in that once I get the but... ESPN alert that KG, nah, Ray Allen, and Paul Pierce got together, I got my bags back. I'm out of here. It got, it got, it got progressively, it got, it got better as the series went on. But in the beginning, it was not good, Mars. No, it was. Yeah, that, that's what that, that, I think. Wasn't. That's where the biggest disconnect is. Yeah. Um, I think most people who are on the LeBron James had no help side are saying LeBron was never going to win a chip in Cleveland. 07, they were never going to beat the Spurs. 08, they weren't going to beat Boston. 09, even if they beat Orlando, they weren't going to beat the Lakers. 2010, they weren't going to beat Boston, blah, blah, blah. The, other, the people on the other side of the spectrum are saying, if LeBron James had no help, we still can't be excused in the fact that against the Spurs, he did not play well. We can't just minimize the fact that he played poorly and just say he had no help. It doesn't count, but then praise yeah. him for making the finals. You can't have it both ways. If you're yeah. going to say he didn't have help to win, that doesn't excuse the fact he's playing badly. But against the Spurs in the you, finals, you know where that goes to. Bad. That. That's something that needs to be acknowledged. No, whether or not they could have won, the hell, I'm, 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 have won but, is besides the point. They LeBron James did not play well against the Spurs. No, that, that's true, Mars, but it's easier to perform when you do have help around you. Who expects to play well and lose? That happens. He's playing badly and losing. We need to acknowledge the fact he's not playing well. That's something that doesn't matter. That's not fair. That's not fair. That'd be my biggest gripe, chill. You be so black and white with your boss. Thomas, did you just listen to what I said? I'm asking you. No, no, I don't think they win. I literally just said we can acknowledge the fact that they aren't going to win, but also acknowledge the fact he's playing badly. I ain't going to hold you. I ain't going to hold you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got to cook Domo right quick. I don't understand why Domo's sitting there making excuses for this man, LeBron James, ladies and gentlemen. When LeBron James, ladies and gentlemen, right, Um, when you look at him, in his early years with Cleveland, y'all sit there and make excuses to talk about he didn't have nobody, right? And and, and y'all never sit That's there and hold this man account. Y'all hold on, y'all never sit there and hold this man accountable for playing like absolute garbage in the NBA finals, right? Let's talk about this in his first finals when he went to the uh when he was with Cleveland going to the finals, right? I cannot hey, y'all cannot ignore it. Y'all cannot y'all cannot deny nobody that the reason why the Cleveland Cavaliers went to the NBA finals because of defense. Defense alone, their defense was really, really elite in the postseason setting, right? But then go to the NBA Finals, right? You had all these other guys that's playing to their average, right? When you have a guy like LeBron James, you can you can sit there and admit that LeBron James, ladies and gentlemen, in his early years with Cleveland, his lack of perimeter outside jump shooting is the reason why Cleveland Cavaliers didn't get over the hump. Am I right, Damo? It's a part of it, yes. Okay, so what I'm saying is this is that why you sit there consistently make excuses on why LeBron James get it didn't get it done. Why you sit there and don't ignore the fact that he played like shit, he didn't play well against the Orlando Magic series. Why you sit there and don't ignore the fact that LeBron James did not play well? Hold on, 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 Stop it. Stop it, Chill. Just Hold on. To the Spurs, he why did. you don't ignore the fact that LeBron James, ladies and gentlemen, the reason why the Cleveland Cavaliers offensively didn't get over the hump because his shooting. He couldn't consistently shoot. Teams were going under the pick and rolls and allowing LeBron James to shoot open perimeter jump shots. You can see it against the Atlanta like Magic Series. You can see it against mm -hmm. the Celtics Series. Mm -hmm. You can see it against the Spurs Series as well. You can look at it all the series. So you can sit there and name me the points, the rebounds, the assists, the steals, the blocks, and all that other stuff, right? But when you assess LeBron James' game, he was not established as a basketball player, the likes of Duncan, the likes of uh, yep, uh, Michael Jordan, the yeah, likes of Kobe, he was not a the likes of Magic, yep. and all these other great players were. Uh -huh. And y'all want to sit there and make all these excuses why this man is the greatest no player of all time excuses. and sit there and blame his fucking teammates. I don't like that okay. shit, man. Mookie, are you done? Are you finished or you done? Mookie dominated wait, wait, the gym. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Are you finished or you done, Mookie? Go ahead, go ahead. Okay, so let me ask you. When was the last time you heard my analysis of the 2007 NBA Finals? I oh, know you, you. I heard you make a. Scoop You've scoop. never fucking heard it, Mookie. I heard you make That's a scoop. Scoop. I heard crazy. you make a. No, scoop. no, no, nigga. no, nigga. I heard no, nigga. you make a. I let you talk. Stop. You sit stop. here making scoop. Stop. Mookie, stop. Mookie, Mookie. Time. I let you talk. Mookie. I'm tired of that Mookie, shit, I let you man. Talk. Mookie, I'm tired I let of that you shit. Talk. Go ahead, Mookie, I let you talk. Please be quiet. 
You've never had a conversation with me. Please please let me talk. You've never heard me have a conversation about the 2007 NBA Finals. You've never heard my analysis of it. Mookie, I've never been a person to say LeBron James never played bad in the Finals. I've never said that. All I said was, in his course of the seven years, not just the fucking Finals. Shut up. The seven years Why you blame he was in Cleveland, he did Why not have teammate? enough help to win a championship. Never said, "Oh, he didn't play bad." Oh man, I, I think. Hey Ron, hey Ron, I gotta go. go. I gotta go. I holler at y'all. I holler at y'all. Now you gotta go. Now you gotta go. Move, kick your ass here. Move you to one camp and start the fight. Move you running off the joint. No, no, no. Before you go, come start a fight and then run. And then run. He punched somebody and run off the field, bro. Strike sucker. Okay, start the fight and then run. Okay, you arguments. No, this is crazy. People come up here and they make arguments based off shit they talked about with their fucking friends and their friend yep. group and assume everyone thinks the same. No, Negro, no. two things can be true at once. Yes, LeBron can. could have played bad in multiple finals, and what I said still can stand to mm-hmm. be true. His first seven years in Cleveland, compared to the rest of the league of teams that was competing for championships, he did not have adequate help to match up with them. That doesn't mean if he played, I, I asked Mars earlier, Mars, if LeBron plays well, does he win the final? Mars says no. no. Everyone will say fucking no. So LeBron mm-hmm. playing good or bad does not change him winning or losing a finals. If we're talking about his first stint in Cleveland, it's his help that is why he left the in, in totality, not Hello, just Mark. the fucking finals, bro. If y'all gonna come at me about shit I say, make sure <laughs> you just know what I now. said. I've been doing straight. YouTube since 2017. My takes are fucking out there. Do your research. Actually, your know homework. what I said and don't fucking assume. That shit's so stupid. Go do your homework. Um, um, Wamo, cooking and just making something? shit up. Wamo, the fuck? Damo, can I say something to you, Damo? Now, I, I want to disagree with one thing you said in behalf of Dookie. Um, I wanna say, <laughs> <laughs> what I want to say is, brother. Hey, check it, yo, chill out, bro. Hey, hey. What sorry. I want to say is, brother, brother Damo, what I want to say is, is this. The reason why I feel like that LeBron didn't have enough help excuse doesn't work is because the help was good enough to get you to the finals. And then the help actually played well in the finals. Those games were not all blowouts. Those games were to play well. That's all. I'm sorry. Go ahead. No, 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 I'm saying what I'm saying. No, I'm saying. I'm saying that everybody says he didn't have enough help, but everybody, everybody uh, glazes him over how they played against the Detroit Pistons, who were just as good as a, a team defensively, probably that year, even without Ben, as the Spurs were in the finals. That season, if you go look look it up, they were probably like not too far off defensively, those two teams. All I'm saying to you is this. I'm saying everybody praised LeBron James for being able to get past those Pistons and get to the finals. How do we praise you for balling out against those Pistons who are a very still a very good defensive team? Then we say you didn't have enough help when you got to the finals and you didn't play well against the San Antonio Spurs. Mm-hmm. Okay, well, because against Detroit, yeah, well, against the San Antonio no. Spurs, when the Spurs players, when the Spurs, mm-hmm. when, the, when the Spurs, when the Spurs players didn't play well, Tim Duncan didn't play well in the finals. He played bad. Mm-hmm. Only one guy in that finals played good out of that out, out of those Spurs big three, and we know mm-hmm. who that was. So, with that being said, if LeBron James just did normal LeBron, just did his job, they probably have a better chance to, to win that series. And if he plays great, they probably do win that series. Because of how to know how to do. Okay. Um. Can I ask you? Can well, I? Ask he knew you? how to do it. He knew how to do it against the. He knew how to do it against the Pistons. So he forgot. He knew how to do it against the Pistons. So he forgot against the Spurs. No, I see three wrong. players that was adequate help in that final series, and I would say to answer your question, the notion in the narrative is that LeBron James played very well against the Pistons. That's why they won. And when he showed up short against the Spurs, him playing bad on top of not having adequate help. Is why they lost. I, I don't think any, anyone that's saying he didn't play bad in 2007, I think those are Bron sexuals. I think two things can be true at once. If we're going to say that's not true, tell me yeah, the help that he had in that 2007 finals. That's all I'm asking. Because I've heard you say this a ton. Okay, well, I heard you I'll tell you the help. 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 And those guys actually played well. Cool. I thought you had games where different guys 
stepped up in those NBA finals and played well in different games in those finals. Now, I, you, I might can get Mars to agree with me on that uh, if he goes back and looks at those. No, I'm saying if you go back and look at those uh, the, the, uh, uh, 2007 NBA finals, I think that's what, what year it was, right? Yes, yep. 2007. The 2007 NBA. Yeah. If you go look at I went back and looked. NBA. I went back and looked at everybody. Right. What they did. That's what I'm right. asking. Right. Three players. Right. I, I, well, I, I watched it. I actually watched all the games again, and his his role players actually played. Oh, solid. Get these people out of here so Henry can get up here. He said that. Was, he said I that the No, I got him. I got him. I got him. I'm for you, so, Hey, context. context. Hey, context. My my guy. I'm sorry. You got to wait for Henry to get in. Yeah, Someone in chat said Mo Williams. Mo Williams wasn't on the roster. What are you thinking about? Yeah, well, no, 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 no. I, I was trying to answer your question. Can I talk to you? When you think about it, like, for example, game one was a nine-point game. Game one was a nine-point game. And guess what? The the uh, uh, Cavs' defense was excellent. They held the Spurs to 85 points. Right. So you had the Spurs to 85. The great San Antonio Spurs with the big three to 85 points. Mm -hmm. is, is it everybody else's fault that LeBron shot 25% from the field? Do you ever think that you, you, you ever think that you, you take it, you ever think that San Antonio's defense was also that good too? It wasn't that he just folded. They, no, because they played on one on one, and that same defense was saying with Bruce Bruin, he torched those guys. Kobe Bryant did. He took Kobe Bryant with Shaq on the bench. Kobe Bryant torched those guys. That same defense with Bruce Bruin and that same Spurs team, uh, Kobe Bryant annihilated those dudes with with Shaq out of the game, and, and we watched him take over. And so. Yeah, that's what it was. One hundred percent. Can I? Well, they was around the same. They was. They was around. Well, was, the was around, oh, well I'm gonna what? say this. They was around the same age at that time. I think Kobe was 23. LeBron was 22. So well, Kobe was I, a better player. They, well, yeah. I mean, I I think I agree, but they wouldn't agree with me on that. So what I'm saying. And what wait, I'm who saying doesn't is, agree with that? Up here, who doesn't agree with that? Who thinks 22 year old LeBron is better than what? Ooh. I do not think that. I do See, not. I think my no. mic is not working. This so no one agree. Everyone no, I can't hear you. We, we can hear you. We Everyone hear you. No, 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 no. My mic must not be working because I don't. Yo, have Henry, it's not full. Pull up right he now. He asked me. It's not full. Pull up. He asked me. He asked me who played. He asked me who played. He asked me who played well. Well, in game one, in game one, Sasha Popovich shot fifty percent from the field. He played well. Had thirteen points. From 50 percent from the field drew Gooden shot 66 percent from the field he had 14 points in game one also you had daniel gibson he shot 66 percent from the three-point line and he I shot, he he shot 77 percent so i just gave you hold on i just gave you three guys that just Who played finals not, not wait wait wait, wait. I'm, I'm, give me, hold on. I'm not i'm not finished yet i'm do you ask me i'm trying to i'm trying to respectfully answer your question so that's game so that's game one i gave you three guys that played above their level drew Gooden. Was six of nine from the field, sixty-six percent that game. Also, Daniel Gibson was seven of nine from the field. He shot seventy-seven percent that game. Sasha Pavlovich shot fifty percent that game. He was six of twelve from the field. And LeBron James shot twenty-five percent from the field, thirty-three from the three, and had fourteen points that game. Right? He was a minus you five. Free throw line. And when you go to game two, he only shot one free throw. Then when you go to game two, when you go to game two, uh. Again, in game two, another nine-point game. If LeBron James just plays regular LeBron James basketball, they probably have a better chance to win that game. In game two, Drew Gooden was 6 of 12 from the you field. He balled out. Daniel Gibson was 6 of 12 from the field, 2 of 5 from the 3, 40% from the 3, 50 from the field. He played well. Also, Anderson Verichow, he made both shots he hey, took. Damon Jones, hit, Damon Jones hit two threes. He, he shot 66% from the three-point line that game. And shot 50 from the field that game. And so he had other guys that, that had played well that game that was on his role player cast. It was LeBron who was 41%, 42% from the field. It was LeBron who made no threes that game and shot 0% from the three-point line. It was LeBron who shot 63% from the free throw line. So once again, you're talking about a nine-point game. If LeBron James steps up and is LeBron James, you have a whole different situation. Now let's go to game three and I'll show you the help. So if you're looking at game three, when you have game three, sir, and you're looking at this team, now, LeBron James, what does he do in game three? He goes 39% from the field, 0% from the three, and then he did shoot 87% from the free throw line, which made his numbers respect, respectable if you looked at the 25 points because he hit those free throws. But if you look at his field goals, he was 9 of 23, 39%, and 0 of 5 from the three, 0%. Meanwhile, uh, Drew Gooden was 5 of 11 from the field. He had 13 points. Zajunas Hilgowskis, 
was six of uh, 13 from the no, field. He no, had 12 no, points, that's another right? Too. So that's, that's the one game. Know. That's the one game I can give you. I don't help this, that's hold on. That's the one game I can give you that the help didn't show up. But then game four, okay. it, it all ends in game four because in, in game four, if you just pull up game four and you go back and watch game four, this is when it was over. LeBron James was 10 of 30 from the field. He shot 33 percent, two of seven from the three. He shot 28 percent, six of two from the free throw line. He shot 33. Can I finish my sentence though? And and it was, that was only a one point game at home in the queue. That was a one point game. So you lost a one point game at home, and LeBron was ten of thirty from the field, thirty three percent, two of seven from the three, twenty eight percent, six two of six from the free throw line, thirty three percent. Meanwhile, right. when you look at his teammates, when you look at his teammates, you look at his help, right? Um, in that game, uh, Anderson Barishal didn't miss a shot. Eric Snow went fifty percent from the field. Also, you had so you had uh, double figures from Drew Gooden and Booby Gibson. What did in that Drew Gooden shoot? What did he shoot? Man. Man. Hold on, hold on. That's a one point game. What did no context numbers, man? Hold on, hold on. What's context numbers again? My whole point with you guys is this, and I'll leave. I'll leave y'all at this. Y'all don't hold him responsible. Y'all say he's the king. Y'all say he's the goat. Y'all say all of these great things. But you talking about a one point game at home, and you can't win that game. Meanwhile, yes, the San Antonio, on. hold on, hold on. The San Antonio Spurs, their other guys really wasn't playing that great. They had two guys that played good that game.